Okay, so to get into a patient's chart, we have to go ahead and double click. You will go last name, first name. Locate your patient, double click, patient info. You go into the patient's chart, click into DEXAS, click once on DEXAS, and then DEXAS will load. You then go to the person, and this is where all your panoramics and your treatment studio uploads. You click once on 3D, launch 3D program, which will then transfer your patient over to Treatment Studio. You press OK. You will then go to the second monitor. Clicking New Exam. Your patient, after clicking 3D, your patient will automatically pop up. Go ahead and highlight the patient arrow over and then you will go to both arches arrow over um, it states right away uh, choose type you always want to go ahead and make you want to do a test run first this is your test run this is your actual x-ray that will be taken test run first you go ahead and press arrow over and then you will position your patient now we will go ahead and do the initial radiograph it's just as a test run to make sure that the patient is positioned properly before we go ahead and take the final radiograph the scan button is located to the right of the ct scan machine um, and what you do is go ahead and you press the scan button once the green light pops up and states it's ready. There is a ready button also located on the scan itself and the yellow light will pop up also once it's ready. Your pre-scan will look like so. You want to make sure that the yellow line is in the middle of the anteriors. If you are happy with your scan, we will then go ahead and arrow right to take the final scan. The little fan will state that you are ready to take a final scan. If, as long as your patient is fully ready to go and positioned properly, we will go ahead and take the final Again, scan. Again, once you prompt the arrow, the, the CT scan machine will state it is ready and you can go ahead and click scan. Once you hit scan, the machine will go around the patient's head. You definitely want to be behind the wall while the scan is being taken. And once it goes around and then it back around the opposite way, your scan is complete. The final outcome of your CT scan should look like this. You will click the arrow to finalize it and to prompt the x-ray to go into DEXAS. Once you click your arrow, the ICAT, uh, ICAT icon will pop up. You will double click the icon. Treatment Studio will open. Once it opens, you will click Super Pano tab. It will look like this, and then you are ready to build your panoramic. In the upper lower limit frame, you will bring the bottom green line under the chin and the upper green line above the bottom of the eye socket. In the focal trough frame, 
you will utilize your dots, the top dot, click slice mode, which will give you all of your buttons. In the focal trough frame, you will click the top button and you want that to be in the middle of your anteriors. Your second dot is located on each side, right and left. You will pull your dot to the premolar on each side. You will then go to your third dot, which you will bring to your second molars. Once this is completed, you will expand your focal points. and you will create pano on the upper left hand side. One second. Once the pano is created, you will sharpen the image to sharp, which will give it a better view of the total panoramic. To save the panoramic, you will go to view, capture to gallery, click panel, okay, okay, and then you will go to the gallery icon. The gallery icon, you will then save your image again in view and you capture to file. You want your um, you want your panoramic to be saved under panel, the file panel. And then you do last name of the patient. first name patient and save. You will then go into the DEXA's icon and you will import your radiograph. I wouldn't have done it that way, but yes. It's the only way I know how. <laughs> and that is how you fabricate and transfer your panoramic from a treatment studio to DEX's. Yeah.